Welcome again to this ASP.NET Core MVC tutorial. By now in this tutorial, we have covered several things about dropdown. But the entire data that we were using into a dropdown, that was hard code. Now today in this video, we will learn how to get and save the data of a dropdown to a database. Okay, let's start. So we will get the data of a dropdown from the database and basically for that we need to create a table into our database so we will learn how to add a new table into our existing database using code first approach then we will learn how to save the data of this drop down to the database so we are going to perform two operations over here first one is get the data second one is save the data so we are again back to our bookstore web application and as a first task we need to create a new entity into our code so let's open this data folder and inside this data folder, we need to create one new class. So let's right click on this folder, choose add and click on the class option. Let's give it a name, language, click on the add button. Okay, let's add a few properties over here. Suppose first one is ID and this is going to be the primary key and the identity. We can either use text or you can use name as well over here. Let's add one more property stating description. Perfect. Let's save all the changes. Now let's go back to our context class. This context class is available over here inside this data folder and the name is bookstore context. Here you can notice that we have already added this books table. In the same manner we need to add our second table that is language. So let's add that table as well. So here we need to use db set inside the db set we need to provide the type of our table it is language now we need to give it a name so we can simply use language over here okay so we have created a new table and we have added the reference of that table into our context class now we need to create the relationship in between these two tables so let's open the books class and inside this books class right now you can see first thing would be that we need to convert it to the integer because in this table we are going to store the id of our language so how can we do that we need to simply use integer over here and we need to update all the references as well we need to update the same property into our books model as well so let's open the models inside the book model you can notice that this is the language property and in this language we need to convert it to the integer perfect let's build the solution Okay, so build is failed, cannot implicitly convert. Let's see what all we got over here. The error is coming from this dummy data source. And since we are working with the live database now, then there is no need of using this hard code data. So I can simply remove this one. Okay, so we do not have a search functionality right now. I can simply return null and we will implement it later. I just simply want to remove this data that is hard coded and let's remove it from here. Again, let's try to build this application this time you can notice that build is successful perfect now we need to go back to our books table and here we need to create a relationship between books table and the language table and how can we do that we simply need to write the property over here and here as a type i need to provide the name of my second table that is language into our case let's give it a name and I can update this one as well by stating language ID. The build is now successful all we have done is we have converted the language property to the integer type and we have made all the corresponding changes into my entire application okay now let's save all the changes and again go back to our books entity this is how you create a relationship in between two tables so this is public type and the name of your relationship if again you want to create the relationship 
from this language table to the books table then you can use the books table over here as well so you can simply use i collection and inside this i collection you need to pass the type of your books table that is books into our scenario and here we can write books now let's build the solution build is successful now it is the time to update the database and to update the database first we need to open the console window it is available over here in this tools nuget package manager and here is the console first we need to add the migration let's give it a name click on the enter button a new migration has been added into our solution okay now it is time to update the database to update the database we simply need to use one command update database and press enter we are getting an error while updating the database why because as of now we are using language as an string but here we are using language as an integer so and we already have some data into our table and because of the loss of that data we are getting this error so in real world application we will create a migration script and we will move that entire data from this string to the integer but now since we are working only on the demo application so i can simply remove the entire data from this books table and again i can add the entire data to this table let's open the database here is our books table let's get the data so right now i have only two books i can delete the entire data from this books table by using delete from books i'm again telling you that in the real world application where you cannot delete the data you need to create an script and you will migrate the entire data from your string type to the integer type okay let's execute this query two rows has been deleted from the database again let's try to run this command and it is done now let's go back to the database this time you can notice that we have two tables over here first one is books and second one is language let's see what all we got into this language let's right click on this one and choose design okay so we have three columns this one is id integer and we have this primary key as well and this is also the identity now let's see what all keys we got over here so we have one primary key and let's see what all we got into the books table so we have two keys over here into our books table this is the primary key and this is the foreign key this time we can say that our database is ready to perform some actions now let's add some data into our language table so right click on this one and choose edit here i can write some data just like we have added six languages to our table let's close it and just to verify i can simply right click on this one and choose select top 1000 records here you can notice that we have six languages again we are back to our application and now it is time to work with the language table how can we do that we need to simply open this repository folder inside this repository you can notice that we have one book repository and since language is a separate entity so i need to create one more repository over here with name language can do that easily add class language repository press enter and all the common things that we have over here into our books repository i need to use all of them into our language property as well so i can simply copy this line let's create a constructor over here and let's resolve the dependency in the constructor let's resolve the namespaces to perform the operations we need to create one more model into our application for language we already have a language model into our application and i simply need to update the text of these properties and the text is i can simply copy entire data from this this language table so i need to copy these three records and i need to replace the entire code over here let's build the solution let's remove this hard code data as well because now we will get entire data from our database again let's build the solution build is successful this time here we can write the code public async context dot now we need to work with the language table so i can simply use this language and dot select 
I need to get the entire data in form of this language model. So I can write language model over here and here I can map all the properties and at the last I can use to list async method. Okay, let's map all the properties. So first we have id, id is equals to x dot id, description is equal to x dot description and name is equals to x dot name perfect so i simply need to return this data let's return it by using this code we can get all the language from our database now it is time to go back to the startup class and here if we have noticed that we are resolving this dependency by using this add scope method we will learn the details of these methods in some upcoming videos but for now we need to resolve the same thing for our language repository as well so i can do that language repository let's copy it again and paste it here perfect time to go to our controller class so here we are into the controller and here you can notice that we are using one book repository in the same manner we need to add the second repository as well language repository and let's give it a name language repository and we need to resolve this dependency into the constructor Let's build the solution just to test whether everything is working fine or not. The build is successful now. And here we are into our add new book action method. And here if I want to get the language, language is equal to then I can simply use this language repository dot get language. And this method will return all the language that we have into our database. So I need to convert it to an async method now. we simply need to create a drop down by using this language data and we have already learned several ways to create a drop down from this action method so you can use any one of them okay let's pass this data into our view bag property let's remove this data from here i need to perform the same things into our post method as well okay now let's go to our view if I need to create a drop down over here, then there are two ways. Either I can use a select list over here, or I can format my data into our controller and I can pass the formatted data over here onto my view. So let's format the data onto our controller. Let's format the data over here into our controller class. So we can simply use new select list and let's see what all we got into the select list once again. So into the constructor of the select list, we need to pass the data. Okay, let's pass the data into our constructor. So first one is the data. And the second parameter is the, we need to use this version. So second, second one is the data field. Data is available into the ID and the text is available into name. Let's make the changes into a post method as well. Now let's have a look onto this add new book method as well. So here you can notice that we are passing the language ID and language ID, perfect. Now let's run this application in debug mode. Okay, let's see what we got into the drop down. So here we are getting all the languages that we have added into our database. Let's debug this code as well. Let's put a breakpoint over here into this get method this time. And let's just refresh this page again so we got the breakpoint over here perfect let's continue and just to go inside this language we can click on the f12 button and let's put a breakpoint over here as well so we got the request over here let's click on the f10 button again click on the f10 so we got all the languages over here into our view back property here you can see the items detail and these details are coming from the database and the rest things i mean creating the drop down from this data we have already covered that part several times in few previous videos. So let's click on the continue button this time. Okay, so we got this language from the database. Let's choose the language. Let's add a new book title this time. Click on the author, description, total pages. Suppose I have 123. Click on the add book button. 
we are back to our post method and inside this post method here you can notice that into the language id we are getting the id of our hindi language let's press f10 button the model state is valid in this scenario let's click on the f11 to go inside the execution of this method as well okay so here we are into the post method let's click on the f10 again click on the f10 button and let's save all the changes perfect so the new book has been added into the database and the id is 3 let's click on the continue button the new book has been added into the database successfully let's click on this here button to view the details of the book okay so over here you can notice the language is 1 why we are getting this one because as of now we are using language id property in the detail section as well so before updating this data let's focus on the database let's view the data of this books table right click on this one and choose here you can notice that in the language property you can see that we have the id of our language now we need to get the details of this language as well and now we need to update the details section of the book as well for that first we need to open the books model inside this book model i need to create one more language property this is the id property and i need to create one more language property that will hold the data of our language so this time it will be string and language perfect now let's go to our get book data method and here it is into the books repository and we are using these two methods to get the details of all the books so i can simply update the data in both of them now to get the data of this language there are two ways first one is either you can use the join or if you have created the relationship then you can simply use the navigation properties how book dot language and then dot id so by using this approach you can get the details of note the id the name by using this approach you can get the data from the related table let's make similar changes into the get book by id method as well book dot language dot name perfect now let's just build the application and run this application again click on the add new book again let's add one more book suppose this time i'm using this one click on the add book button book has been added successfully into the database click on the here link we are getting an exception over here it means we need to update some of the code as well let's update the code now we are using the select method to select the data again let's build the solution and just refresh this page again this time you will notice that the error is gone but still we are having this id2 this is because we have not updated the property onto our view file let's do that let's go to the view here is the book get book and over here instead of using this language id i need to simply use this language property let's save the changes go back to the browser and refresh this page again and here you can notice that we are getting the text of our language so if we are adding the new book into the database then we are working with the id and for the detail space we are using the text of the language that is all in this video thank you for watching have a great day